What is up all you beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we're not only getting primer, but paint as well on this. So if you haven't seen the prep video, make sure you go have a look at that. Um, other than that, yeah, sit down and enjoy. Cheers. Okay, so I've just wiped down everything. Bins full of dirty rags with turps, and we're gonna start doing the primer. So it says a one to four ratio, so one part's hardener to four parts of the epoxy primer. And yeah, we'll give it a test. I'll, I'll adjust the uh, PSI on the compressor and then we'll go from there. We'll just blast it in. So I just finished uh, all the priming, got better as I got along because I've never really painted anything like this before. I mean, I've sprayed, I sprayed polyurethane before, but I've never done anything like this. So, got them pretty flat, we'll go have a look. Mud guards came up really nice, this was the first one I did. Uh, a bit patchy because I was, I sort of sprayed like this, whereas this one I sort of did like a continuous line and that came up really nice there. Um, this came up pretty good, again, not bad, I was trying to get all this roof rack done, I got a bit of run because I was trying to get all the angles, so there's a bit of run across here, but I can see a bit of that back, that's okay, a little bit bare there, I can get that on the next coat, not pretty good, doors aren't bad, they were an absolute mongrel to flip over, because I wanted to spray the rim of the other side first, and then flip them over, so I need to come up with a better idea for those. Maybe I'll just put them on the individual um, saw horses, that might work. Then the tray itself, come up really nice. Drips and stuff on it, because I thought, I thought I'd be smart and um, turn the gun upside down, and forgot it has a little breather hole. Drips and stuff here and there. That was a good one there where I've, where I've done it. Um, Real dark around the back, I had to use a torch. I think it looks pretty good that everything's all the same colour. So, I actually don't mind this grey. It actually looks really nice if I was to do, I don't know, another car in the future, maybe I'd paint it this colour, but we'll, uh, I'll do another coat of primer tomorrow. Um, see how that comes up. Maybe I'll get two on tomorrow, do one in the morning, one in the Arvo, we'll see. But, yeah, I am gonna say it's a success. I do think that uh, Raptor epoxy primer is a must for anything, 
especially aluminium. My mate did his with um, only adhesion promoter. Stuck really well, but not as well as it could have. I'm hoping the primer does a better job um, helping it stick, and I've sanded everything. If you're gonna do this yourself, I'm trying to give myself enough room, but I'm still finding I'm tripping over stuff. So if you can have an even bigger space, um, it would have been nice if these weren't here. And I've put it on, you know, that and that brought these in a little bit more, but yeah, I'm very happy with this. Okay, done some remodeling. So, got the tray back up on the saw stools. Um, and I've got the canopy flipped over um, and sitting on a box. I do recommend keeping stuff off the ground. One, it's easy to work with, and two, um, like it's not going to stick to anything. So, your, all your other sprays is going to hit drop sheets, uh, it's not going to stick to it. So, the box says to do a four to six hundred. You have to cut it before you do another coat. So I'm going to take the advice. I'm going to sand it. I can only find some 400. Um, so I'm just going to do a light pass on most things. Um, anywhere where there was a drip or any sort of excess, I'll take that off. I'll take that down a little bit. And yeah, I'll get back to you on some painting, I guess. Okie dokie, so clean up, um, let's talk about that for a bit, so on the box, I can't find anywhere where it says anything about clean up, so last night was a bit of a pickle, I was like, oh yeah, see if Terps can't get this off, and I tried five or six different things and it didn't come off at all, the only thing that got off last night was throttle body cleaner. Uh, so I did a bit of research and you're your paint thinner. So I went down to my local hardware store, picked up some of this stuff and it's coming off really nicely with that. So if you're going to use this epoxy primer, make sure you grab some of that to clean up because this stuff is just like, it's like gaffer tape. It just sticks to everything. Yeah, and it's, I mean, home job. It's a bit messy. So make sure you have appropriate sort of stuff and wear gloves like, just keep wearing gloves. Okay, so it's a few days later. Everything's got at least two to three coats of primer on it. Um, and I did a bit this morning on a couple spots like the bottom of the canopy and the bottom of the tray. Um, it's been crap weather for painting, so I am pretty keen to get a bit of actual Raptor on it. So we're just gonna do the roof of the canopy and the top of the tray along with a bit of the headboard and the doors and the mud guards so gonna mix this stuff up now it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward it says it on each uh, bottle so it says fill it shake it shoot it so it comes with a little measuring cup and it says 237 mil of hardener to each bottle I think it says fill up to a line or something um, I want this a little bit thin, so if it's not how I want it, I will add a little bit of thinness to it and try it. Um, but I'm hoping enough PSI behind it will sort of thin it out a little bit. Uh, other than that, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Rightio, so sorry about the change of the camera. My GoPro has, for some reason, decided to stop working. And it was dead the last time I tried recording. So, uh, I have painted... 90 or oh, 80 percent of everything in raptor so the last little bit i'm hopefully gonna get a bit of footage for you guys to show you how easy this stuff is um and 
A couple of little tricks I picked up when using this stuff and getting absolutely as much as you can out of a bottle because I have ran out of the four liter pack. I had to run to my mate's place and get the extra bottle that he had laying around and I doubt I'm gonna have enough. I might just. I've still got to paint this side of the canopy, the other side, the tail lights, and then the other side of the headboard. And, I sh and that's it, so hopefully, I can get everything out of this one bottle. We'll see. Okay, so a really neat trick I learned from doing this is out of these bottles, there's actually a heap left in there and because it's such a thick paint, it actually doesn't come out. So what I did is the paint thinner that I used to clean the epoxy primer, I actually put this in the bottle and shook it up and that got me, literally I emptied the bottle out. Now it is a lot thinner than normal, however, if you, uh, if you continue to just keep going at it, it actually sort of splatters on it a little bit. Uh, I've got a good example of the mud guards. I ran out and I did them on one of the mud guards like this. So this is this is the one where I put the uh, thinned out rough dry on it, and it's not too different. However, it's yeah, it got me a lot more coating, and I reckon you get about an extra uh, an extra meter square of paint per bottle if you do that. So. Any area that doesn't really need the texture, definitely use this on it because it gets you more coverage and you won't run out like I did. All right, we're back. The GoPro is finally working again, so that's all good. So I'll give you guys a bit of a look now it's all assembled again. And yeah, just see how the reactors come up. I don't know how well it'll come across on camera, but yeah, we'll see. So, I need to go over and do a few more spots with a touch-up can because I did miss a couple little spots. But, other than that, now I've mounted my spare wheel carrier now and put the little um, the canopy logo back on. But, really happy with it. I have noticed though that for some reason Raptor doesn't like to stick to aluminium. Um, so as I've probably said already, uh, my mate painted his setup with Raptor and he just used the adhesion promoter um, and it didn't stick awfully well. It stick like pretty good but it flakes off a bit and I was like well I'll go buy the epoxy primer. That stuff stuck really well. Um, but yeah, just a couple little spots where it's flaking up. I don't know why, I'm guessing aluminium is probably just not the best material to be painting. Probably better to powder coat it, to be honest. Um, but to steel tray, man, that stuff stuck good. Do all the other stuff, like it, so yeah, it seems like it stuck pretty well, but who knows. All right, so she's all painted, sitting back up on the saw stools. Come up fairly well. A uh, couple things with doing this yourself. Uh, room is a big thing, like having space. I didn't have enough space, and there's a couple of spots on here where, you know, when you're a bit cluttered, you sort of touch things. So there's a couple of spots where uh, some things touch it when the paint was wet, so it's got like a funny little mark. Uh, the other thing to consider too, or uh, we'll make sure you have, is good lighting. Um, I got caught out heaps having uh, areas that looked painted but weren't. So. Having good lighting, mine was absolutely shocking. 
is another good thing. And the other thing too is the mess. There's a lot of overspray of this stuff. I'll see if you can't see the flaws. They're black. They should look not like that. <laughs> so there's a lot of overspray. It's just dust, but uh, yeah, just cleaning up. Just be aware if you're using this stuff, it's a bit messy. But other than that, it's pretty good. I mean, another it's like me, you can paint something and make it look half decent. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this full painting video of me doing my setup. Um, God bless you, and see you next time. Cheers.